What's going on guys? Stevie from the Minute Masters here and today I'm going to show you how to install a hood latch extension for your truck. So a common problem created by aftermarket grills like this one that I made right here and by the way if you're curious as, as to how I made it just hit the uh, link up here above the video or wait to the end of the video for the car. But anyway the problem they create is that you can't get your hand in between the grill slats to hit the secondary hood latch release right there. So you, know, you have your primary hood latch right here and then you have your secondary. And so you end up having to do either, you know, either have to cut a hole in your grill for it or something, or you're gonna have to bend down through the limbo and reach up in there to hit the hood latch, which uh, has made me quite limber, I must say, but it can be very inconvenient if you're in a muddy area, snow, it's wet out, a lot of different factors. And so I've decided to try out this hood latch release. So at the moment, I don't know if it's gonna work, but hey, just a couple of holes. If I don't like it, I can take it off. But the gist of it is, is that you mount it like so, okay? You screw some, you uh, drill some holes through your latch right here, and you put your bolts in, and it allows you to relocate to this location, and I assume by some leverage of upwards or to the side, you should be able to release the secondary latch. So in order to put this on, we're going to unbolt these two bolts here. That's what holds your latch here to this secondary uh, bracket behind it. And then we're gonna flop the latch up here so you have a better workspace because there's really no way to drill the holes into this in order to put these bolts on. And so I just wanna move it into more clear workspace. Keep in mind, you can only move it so far because the cable, the hood release cable is attached to the one side. So I'm gonna undo these flop it up and I'll bring you back for the drilling. All right, so I have the hood latch out, so we have a nice clear workspace. And so now we have to figure out where we're gonna put this to drill it. Now I ordered this from A&M Fab and Performance and you can also get it from CP Attic. Now the problem with ordering from both of those and probably anybody is they don't include directions for the install. So I'm doing this based on the picture for the ad and so roughly it's at a level orientation coming out of the hood. So it's not, it's, it kind of sits out like so. It's not angled to either side. And so I'm using that to gauge um, its placement next to the latch. So you can see it's kind of level, it's not angled to one side. And then as far as depth, I see how it kind of thins out towards the bottom. And you see how it like meets there in that little nook. That's roughly where you've got to be. And the reason I say is because if you were to lift it up anymore, you're down to one bolt and that's just not gonna work. So there's actually a clear and confined space for this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a Sharpie marker or some marker, you're gonna put two dots for where you'd like to drill your holes and then we're going to drill them. Now for this job, you're gonna need um, a wrench and you're gonna need an L key. So you're gonna need a 5 30 seconds L key to hold the back, at least as the kit comes from and with that performance, I can only assume that CP Attic will have a similar setup. So I'm gonna drill these holes, I'm gonna bolt it on, and I'll bring you back for the pre-install. All right guys, so here we are. I have the hood latch extension attached. So you can kind of see, it really kind of goes with the flow of things here with sticking out and allow you to get some leverage on this thing. So um, my holes did not go through as I had planned, so it's actually more oriented straight in line with the latch which who knows maybe that's actually how it's supposed to go so you can see it's just slightly tilted away from the actual angle of the latch it's a little downward but um, I don't know I don't think that should be too big of a deal so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna slide this back in like so and we're gonna bolt it up and we're gonna see if this little thing works all right guys so here we are hood latch extension installed and I have to say, it looks really, really good. Now, let's get into how this thing works. So I wouldn't say this is the most ergonomic modification ever conceived. And the reason I say is because it's actually kind of a pain to use slash learn how to use. So I'll just get right into it. So when you close your hood, Okay, all the way you're gonna go pull the latch inside the cab and then you will come out here and you'll have to disengage the secondary latch mechanism, this hook right here, okay? 
okay? So in order to use this, you're gonna like slip your hands up underneath the hood, and it's gonna take some like upward sideways pressure to move this thing over, okay? First thing you're gonna notice is it's not the most comfortable action to use because you're just pushing on you know a flat piece of eighth inch steel here, okay? Uh, once you get over that part, then you're gonna realize that it's almost impossible to push this thing over, okay? And that's because there's way too much pressure from these hinges pulling up the hood. And that pressure on this hook just makes it near impossible to slide the tool over and disengage. So here's what you're gonna do. You're going to close your hood. Okay, we engage the secondary latch mechanism. As you can see, also popping up. You're gonna slide your hand under there and you're gonna find the latch. So I have it right there at my fingertips. And because I have to use the camera, I'm just gonna use my elbow, but normally you place your hand right here and you give it some slight downward pressure. What you're trying to do is take the pressure off that hook. So here we go, downward pressure off, slide the latch over, and bingo, you've just opened your hood and you haven't had to reach down to the grill or climb underneath, okay? So there's a learning curve and there's some discomfort with using this, but it does work, okay? Now, a couple other things. Uh, so number two on my list here, in order to install this thing to make it work, and I had to fiddle around with this thing for like 10 minutes, was you have to make sure this latch is as up as far as you can get it. Matter of fact, I might look at trying to ogle these holes out, slot them so I can get this thing to stick up a little farther so that this thing doesn't require as much downward pressure, but not there yet. So to do that, you're just going to kind of, you know, put your, your screws here in and just snug them, not tight snug, just so you can actually sit here and pull it up and it will stay in place for you to, to you know, tighten them down all the way. Now, in my case, in order to line this pillar up, the latch had to be over as far as I can get it. That might be different for everybody, but that's how it was. So for me, it was up as far as possible and as over as far as possible. And that allows you enough room to push the hood down and still keep your fingers under there. When I did this the first time, the latch was down too far and I had a bear of a time trying to unlatch it from inside the cab. Not to mention out here, I just had no room and I had to surrender and reach underneath and behind the grill. Now, the product itself, that's my third thing on my list here, is this tab is too long by at least a quarter if not a half inch. And the reason for that is you'll actually end up scraping some underhood paint as you can see right here, okay? It should stop somewhere where the hood curves down here. And I get it, it's a universal product. There might be some variations, you know, factory variations from truck to truck, Bronco to Bronco. But if you get this, maybe you want to get a head start on it and just cut off a good you know half or a quarter just to avoid that and it comes as raw steel i've painted this here because i just didn't want it to rust it wasn't installed raw uh, steel in here so that's something i also suggest otherwise as a whole if you learn if you install it properly and you really learn how to use it this can really solve that problem of having to reach down underneath and undo your hood but like I said, there is some learning curve to how it works, and you may want to explain that uh, to anybody who might find themselves having to unlatch your hood. So that's all for me, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, it's kind of a neat little product. It may need some tweaking to get it to even more ergonomically friendly, but as it sits right now, if you just need to learn how to use it, that's probably not bad, especially since it's only like, like $35, and you can buy it from CP Addict, a&M, Fab and Performance, and probably a couple other online retailers that specialize in selling OBS products. So if you want to see how I made that uh, custom grill my truck, you can hit one of the cards here at the end of the video. But otherwise, that's all for me, guys. Hit the subscribe icon over here. Check out some of my other videos. I'm Stevie from the Minute Masters. Thanks for watching.